All right, so Motorsport Manager, I have updated the title. Excellent. We are starting a brand new season of Motorsport Manager. The last season was kind of heartbreaking because, can we go back historically? Yeah, yeah. Was heartbreaking because if I recall correctly, we would have won the season and gotten promoted, except that like meters before the finish line, our engine exploded. Our engine exploded, the car caught fire, and we were past the last possible second. Otherwise, we would have won the league. And we were not expecting it. I was thinking we we're going to come in like solidly mid-table um, at the start of the season. And then by the end of the season, we we're finding ourselves with a tremendous potential, which is crazy. Yeah, two points off, just absolutely heartbreaking. We didn't even need to beat. We just needed two points because we would have won the tiebreaker because we had more more wins overall. In fact, we had more wins last season than anyone else in the league but did not win the league. Very, yeah, heartbreaking, but epic at the same time. I agree. Driver-wise, uh, so we don't have Max anymore. Um, we'd been talking about it. We'd been looking at a bunch of things. Uh, we went shopping around. It was a very hard decision to make because obviously we loved Max Porter, but uh, we did pick up Chica Balcazar here at the end of the last season. She's got stupendously good stats. One of the big things that was holding Max back was he had tr apocalyptically low smoothness, which means he was always going to be a pit stop behind. And it's the thing that was killing him. So now we've got Chica Balcazar here, who's got stupendously good stats. She's she's a pro at overtaking, just like Max was, but she's hopefully not going to have that extra pit stop problem. Um, she's got the Wonder Kid. So both of our drivers are Wonder Kids. They all have super high potential. Uh, Chica's 23. She still can reach a higher potential, which is nice to see. Um, she's a pay driver as well which means she's she brings a sponsor with us with her so that um, her effective cost is much, much, much lower. Her marketability is not bad. She's got hot head over here, which is one of the reasons she's so good at overtaking. It does give her minus one focus, um, but she still has a 16 focus, so cares about that. And this is it is helping her marketability somewhat. Uh, she's easy on the fuel as well, so less less fuel burn. Um, we don't know exactly how much this counts for, so we're not going to... Um, we're not going to work around this because we don't know what the math is, but hopefully what it means when she does come into pit, uh, it'll just turn out we, you know, we'll have to put in on occasion one less lap of fuel because she'll have carried that much fuel forward and it'll save us on pit time. We'll see. Currently, she's training for a pilot's license, uh, which is giving her reduced focus, but increased marketability. Um, if she converts this to a full license, I'm probably, I expect that'll probably be pretty good for her. Um, by Max. Hola, chica. Uh, and of course, we still have Rhea Montero over here, um, who did much better than Max, despite the fact that on paper her stats were a little bit worse. But I think this fact that she has this 20 smoothness is the reason that she did so well. Uh, she, again, could consistently uh, pit less than Max. And some of the time she could actually pit um, less than most of her opposition. It is interesting that it's, it's showing her it still would be gaining, you know, many percentage improvement over here, except she's already maxed out. Uh, if we can get her consistently a little higher, that would be pretty nice. Her low feedback also means that we do get a lot less stuff going on. Um, it's a lot harder in practice to develop the stats, but we shall see. First race of the season is going to be in Singapore, where acceleration, deceleration, and low speed corners is going to be crucial. Might be a wet race. That's going to be really exciting. We just finished our new uh, our new car um, has been put in. We brought it through a, a season like preseason testing here, um, and we did spend a lot of money on the chassis because I do not want to fail to win the uh, the season this year. This is absolutely 100% our goal here. Um, we don't have to worry about carrying over high quality parts or illegal parts this year because all that's going to basically get, I think, kind of reset when we go into the higher league. So if we do ex end up with excess money, well, we may want to save it for the next league. Alternatively, we can in, um, uh, invest it in more infrastructure for us. So we shall see. Um, even right now at the start of the season, our stats are really good. Um, we are, why aren't we working on more reliability? I can't think of a reason why we wouldn't be. We're designing new brake. 
We're improving the reliability of the first break we did. I mean, I want the breaks in the first race. Deceleration is crucial. We might even be able to do some weight stripping. Um, I think the idea with the front wing is we might just be sacrificing the reliability and assuming we're going to stop for repairs a couple of times, which I think is pretty reasonable. But the suspension, I mean, it's pretty close to 70, admittedly. But... Um, I'm designing a rear wing right now. Although it's interesting that one of our rear wings is currently the best in the league. It is banned. What is banned? Oh, weight stripping is banned. I wanted to get the brake reliability up, but I mean, it's still going to be... But why wouldn't we want the rest of these? Maybe, maybe, maybe the idea was to get it up a little closer to 70 and then add in some more parts. Okay, we'll take a look at that and we'll see what we can do. Um, I don't know if there's anything else we need to deal with early on. I think our pit crew got all... Ro I mean, everyone's re re rested. We got fairly decent stats over here. We would still like some better staff here, but we may just have to wait until we get promoted. Because right now, anyone we'd, we'd hire, they'll be like, well, if, if they're going to be better than these guys, they're going to want to be hired by a team in a higher league. So I think we will do that. Uh, yeah, uh, we can't ask for any more money until we finish our first race. Remind me after we do the first race to look for more money. And scouting wise, we are not currently scouting anyone. So let's just, um, yeah, sort by ability, go down to the bottom and scout. There's not a whole lot of drivers out there to scout in the first place, but we'll do what we can. We got a Finn, Terry uh, Kekinen. Okay, makes me think of, uh, of a certain Finnish driver that we all know and love, the Iceman. Um, uh, yeah, I think... I think we just advance. I think we just advance. Let me just, just before we do this, in case I did something weird, let's do a another save here now that we've done all our pre-configuration and we'll do anything at the HQ. So right now, no, I think all the buildings would be slightly too expensive, but we are probably going to do some HQ uh, development later on. All right, first race of the season. I'm going to go with Vamoose over here. And the reason I'm doing that is because theoretically we should be able to do very well in these races um hopefully we get there i mean this would be safer for the bonus there's no reason to take the first place because it's exactly the same bonus over here so we're gonna do that yeah rainy day race it's gonna be we're gonna be practicing in the dry heavy rain on race day that's interesting and our newest driver doesn't have a, a mechanic uh relationship yet so they're gonna be really reliant on um on just whatever we get from the feedback stuff we didn't realize it was time for the race as is. With not much time to go. All right, you're running those two, which is fine. Yeah, I guess that's what it was. I didn't realize we we're basically just on the cusp of the race day, and we we're just trying to get a little bit more, I think, quality out of these brakes. Okay. Um, the new brake is fitted, but not. we're still designing another one as well. I guess we go. This is the first race after the narrow miss to the top here. It is. And this season, like, we need to, we need, our goal is, honestly, I don't just want to win. I want to dominate. I would embarrass everyone else and make them feel bad for not giving us, like, a promotion last year. Okay, that's, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but we do have a very strong car. Ra ra rainy ria. So then the boost consistency and feedback for the buildings would be nice. If we can get some extra money, if we can get our, hit our sponsor objective a few times, uh, that would be really nice. Hey, name Moose! Here's a little advance on the sponsor payout you get from my cousin! Yeah, the Vamoose. Oh, it wasn't actually supposed to rain on practice. Um, that's actually probably really good because that means we can get feedback. I'm proposing intermediate tires. First of all, it's not actually wet, wet enough for wets. Um... That it would be nice to get performance for our quali tire, because I think I think it was supposed to be sunny on qualifying day. Um, so it would be nice to get performance gains on like the ultra soft or whatever. Actually, I didn't pay attention. Uh, how how many laps is this race? We don't know. I didn't pay attention to the to the setup, and on this screen you can't get it, which still seems really silly. But oh well, that's okay. Let's bring these two in anyway. 
Um, yeah, we're gonna race. We're gonna practice on intermediates. We want a fair amount of downforce. Let me let me get this downforce to within the green here, and then similarly, um, on Rhea, we're gonna add some downforce somewhere there because the actual downforce is going to be somewhere to the left so we'll get a little bit closer um how are they on handling they both think about the same they both think about the same speed balance wise yeah i mean it's a it's a slower like it's a course with a lot of um tighter corners uh it's not a high speed reliant probably a little bit more emphasis towards over here what i might do is leave the handling where it is for both of them because almost certainly it's going to be to the right and then we'll kind of know the general direction to move into um, speed balance wise, I think it's going to be the same thing. Most likely it's going to be to the left on both. So we'll start where it is now and move that way. There's a slight chance it's to the right on either one. So I could nudge us over further to the right on both so that we know a little bit more, but I think I'm going to be happier with this. 33 laps, standings, calendars. Oh, view standing calendar that way. Thank you. And yeah, 33 laps, which someone else said in the chat. Thank you very much for that. Okay, that's cool. Standings and then the calendar button. Excellent. Track A, yeah, so a sunny on quali. If the rain, it looks like it is going to die off. What we might do is switch to super softs um, or the softest compound for the second part of practice. And hopefully if we can get the level one on the quali tires, we'll be pretty pleased with that, I'm going to say. Um, but. Okay, we can go into the, the practice. That's going to be fine. Um. Do we do quali practice or do we do racing practice? Yeah, the new girl won't have penny perks with her Mac. So, yeah, we might just actually want to get her the full racing trim. Everyone wants to race. And I think, yeah, for especially for, um, for Chica, uh, she's going to need race trim for the race since she doesn't have anything else going on. Okay, so that's going to be that. Uh, so we'll do race trim on both to maximize the knowledge. Send you out, and uh, same thing, race trim. Go, go, go. Okay. Bring in, bring in. What we choose for Monty doesn't actually matter quite as much because her feedback is so low. Form's good, especially on Monty. With both drivers have incredibly high smoothness, starting on pole is a little less problematic because theoretically we don't have to overtake as many people because we'll be overtaking them during their pit stops, in theory. Let's buff this a little bit. Um, let's soften the suspension and shorten up the speed and then see what that looks like over there. Do, 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 do. 88% right away. Great downforce. So what we'll do is we'll give you a little bit of a scooch more. See if we can get to excellent. Um, handling is good. There we go. Let's do something kind of like that. Send you out. Okay. Bring in, bring in. And yet, when it dries up, we're not going to get much XP on the intermediate tires anyway. So I think we'll get to level 1 intermediate, and then we'll probably work on the softer. Okay, downforce still needs more work, because it was good over there. It's still good. Let's see what this does. Um, I think I'm going to leave it as is. And yeah, so stay out this way. And then you've got triple great, Balcazar. 93%. We can definitely do better. Let's give you a scooch more downforce, and what I'll do is I'll just adjust the tire camber a little bit to see where that ends us up. Uh, maybe the other way, actually. And then a bit longer on the speed balance. Mm. No. We'll do this. Okay. There you go. Track is drying up. Ninety-seven percent, real good. Okay, so I don't feel I have to bring in Rhea anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give her a slight increase on the front wing angle some more, just to see if we got up to a ninety-eight or something. But I don't need to do too many changes. Um, so stay out basically as long as you can. Um, 
on the super softs. And we'll see if we can get a level of quality knowledge. Yeah, the pit crew is good. 95%. Uh, again, I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. We'll make a tiny little tweak. Maybe I'll do a little tire pressure tweak just to see if we end up to a 96 or something. But yeah, now just stay out for the rest. And also, you're going to burn through a bunch of super softs. Well, just the one. So we'll use two for quality. And theoretically, we'll still have one left for the real race because we might be able to do one stint on super softs. So that'll be nice to kind of reserve that. I'm still in race trim. On both? On both. Okay, let me bring in Monty now. She's actually doing fastest times, which is nice. You're right. I, d I am on both with this, with that. Because um, you're going to have to come in a few times. Let me send you out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave um, Chica in. Are out just long enough. If I bring you in now, now we have a lot of fastest laps. We've got our, our level two race trim, which is gonna help uh, Chica a lot. Balky, Balky, and Monty. Oh, we actually the downforce um, left the grate, so we can actually do this. And ideally, it'd be nice to not change the speed balance, but I think it's more or less gonna have to be. Somewhere over there. This should be better overall. I mean, it's still 95, which isn't too bad. Um, and yeah, go into quality trim. And let's hope we can get at least one level of quality trim. Knowledge. Up in the handling. Soft tires level one. We actually might get level two super softs. And... Nope. Just shy on both. Well, oh well. We've got, at least we've got one level of super softs, and we do have the level two race trim, which will help for the race. We didn't end up with the fastest time overall by the end, but that's all right. Still not too bad. This is an Azerbaijanish track? I don't know. I mean, it's in Singapore, so how close is it to the actual Singapore one? I don't know. Uh, so, I mean, we're not going to run intermediate tires, so that doesn't matter over there. Um, and over here, super soft tires, and we've got nothing else that's going to help for quality, so that part doesn't matter. Let's take a look at the setup. We did get to a 96, which is nice. Certainly, we're going to go on new super softs over there. Um, and over here, we ended up with a 98, and we're going to be on new super softs as well. Um, oh, I, I have to fill these in, I guess, if it's available? Sure. Here, I don't know. Fuel economy. I don't think it makes any difference, but... Running on the highest engine or tires, does it actually give us more knowledge during practice for quality? Yeah, actually, I don't think we can change the mode in practice, can we? Or no, we can because we can get it, we can get information. And in quality, it's automatic. I don't know if it changes how much info you get if you run those. I guess you would hold over more weight. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait a tiny bit before we send out here. Because we're going to have enough time to sort of let the track grip in a little bit. The predicted uh, grip isn't as high as it was going to be. But maybe it's because there's not as many cars as it thought. Okay. Do this and we will auto you. And send out over here. Or people say it's based on number of laps. Oh, it might be. So, whoops, shit. No, no, not bring in. Uh, so more laps would be, would give us a little more knowledge. That's possibly true. Oh, that was actually not bad on the, wow, both of them actually did a pretty decent job on their quality. But we have a much better innate chassis with better um, tire and brake heat management. So that's probably going to help these quality laps a lot. Oh my god, Balky, double purple. First and fourth. Balky! Holy crap! Okay, we'll do another stint. We're just gonna wait until we're a little closer to the time. Need to leave enough time for the art lap, but this should be fine. 
Okay. Um. Actually, what I'll do is I'll send out Bal Balky first. Yes, fresh super softs. A quarter second ahead? Holy crap. I mean, she did hit both. She had, like, good brake temp and perfect tire temp or something. And Monty was a little further out. Oh. Yeah. Both times, brakes are a little hotter than, uh, than optimal. But let's see what we can see. Let's see what we can do. Monty is losing position. Balky still tops right now. Only white, so it hasn't in actually improved. No PBs, no nothing like that. Looks like we're not improving off of our first run, unfortunately. So still on pole. Monty didn't improve. Neither one of them improved. Hmm. But we got... Is this our first pole? Might be our second, I'm not sure. Um, which is, means two free points, and we get the sponsor objective. We don't need both of them there. It does suck that Monty didn't come out a little higher than that. When I saw first and fourth, I thought, well, that's very good. But yeah, bulky on pole. Okay, so now the big question mark with this race will mostly be the reliability fight, which everyone is going to be dealing with. Now, we do have a spec engine and a spec gearbox. We've got, uh, we started with 80% reliability on both. We haven't done any work, but that's going to be okay. 80% engine reliability does mean we are not going to be able to, um, uh, to push red the entire race, but we could probably push orange the entire race. The big problem is going to be the acceleration being a crucial part here, um, and the deceleration being a crucial part. Actually, probably more the deceleration because we are sitting around 70% on the brakes. Um, and so we're going to have to monitor that carefully and make a decision as to whether or not we have to do some brake repairs at some point. The low speed corners is less concerning. Uh, it's much lower reliability and it's crucial, uh, but it's a fast replacement. 100% I'm positive we're going to have to replace the front wing at some point during the race, but that's fine. Everyone's going to be in the same boat, and hopefully we can organize a bit of a freebie over there. The deceleration is the thing I'm, I'm very concerned about. Very concerned about. Yeah, two points on the board already. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it looks like it's starting sunny. Heavy rain was predicted. We do have the forecast... We have the forecast center, but even we don't see anything. So up until at least lap 16, it's going to be bone dry. Okay. How are you on your tires there, Chica? What are we looking at here? Well, we, I, I feel like we have to start on softs because that way when she comes into pit, we'll have the most information because if we start on super softs, we might not see this. Well, I guess we don't have any fresh supers other than this one. So I guess no matter what, the first two stints are going to be a soft and a super soft. In which case we might want to start her off super soft so that, uh, she has the best chance of not losing her position early on. Um, if we go purely soft, we could potentially one stop. 33 laps. Oh, no, no, no. It's going to be, it's a two stop no matter what. Yeah, it's a two stop no matter what. So I propose we start on the super softs. We'll have no choice but to switch to the softs after that. And then we'll get a good idea about the weather. And then we can just pull her in um, at four intermediates or wets somewhere along the way. Okay, I like that. These things are going to last for eight to 10 laps. I don't think there's any reason to uh, to heavy fuel here. I think we do want to fuel for the minimum on this particular run. Yeah, I think that's what we want to do. Um, we're going to run the engine mode. Maybe the first couple of laps will be on red, but then we'll quickly go to yellow. Let's assume we can do eight laps here. It might only be seven. Let's fuel for eight. Since we are going to be pushing red tire mode, I think, early on, at least for one lap. So eight times, um, let's call it 1.2 laps worth of fuel. 9.6. 
maybe we'll put in 10 laps worth of fuel in here. This is going to be, I don't like it because we don't have a lot of precision with what we're doing compared to how we normally plan this out. Yeah, there, we won't be repairing on the first stop. The second stop is going to be, well, I mean, we might. So it's that much better to get the super stops out of the way now um, because our future stints, we want to stop and put in tons of fuel to get the free repair kind of thing. Uh, so it would be bad to do it the other way around where like, you know, oh, we're saving our soft, our super sauce for the end. We only need five seconds to fuel, but we're gonna have to do 10 seconds worth of repair. So then we've sort of lost some of that freebie. So I think this is where we want to go. It'd be nice if we had two super sops that were ready, but there might be some weird thing with the rain. We might actually end up using one of the, the used ones. I think we go with something like this. I think I'm okay with it. So that's going to be Balky's configuration. For Rhea, I mean, we're almost certainly going to do basically the same thing here. So, okay. So the, uh, the uh, reason I want to look at the tires, for Chica... Now, 5% either way doesn't make much of a difference. Um, assuming we're going to use intermediates, it would be better to have this, because we're more likely to have the intermediates on for longer... And because of the way this works, the first third, basically the super soft tires, this performance increase doesn't do anything. Because what this is, is a reduced penalty from the time you lose because of wear or silver tires. So I think we're going to go with the intermediate knowledge. We may not use the intermediate tires, and we are using the super softs, but the knowledge of the super softs, I don't think we'll do as much as the intermediate could. Uh, we're going to go race trim, and we're going to go uh, refueling gear. Although... The faster refueling time might be wasted a little here because of the repair tuck, but it'll still help with the first pit stop. It'll help the first pit stop a lot. I think it's still worthwhile doing that way. Um, all right, car strategy. So with Rhea, we're also going to start her off in the super soft. She can go a little bit longer. Um, she can really... I mean, she it, only if she doesn't push, but she could probably one-stop this race. However, we don't know when the sweet spot for the one stop will be. Doesn't make any sense. May as well go with the super softs and do a little bit of pushing. That's going to be all right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plan for a slightly longer first stint. Yeah, we'll just give her one. We'll give her 11 laps worth of fuel um, instead of 10. Um, plus, it'll desync our initial pit stops, which is going to be really nice. So Monty's planning to go one lap longer than um, than Balky. Almost one stop for soft sauce. Yeah, if we knew it was going to be dry, we'd probably give it a try. Just a tiny bit of conserve. It may work, it may not, I don't know. But that's no gonna, not going to be any good over here. All right, I think I'm fairly pleased with this. We are going to start both drivers in double red everything. Um, but the engine mode, like one lap, maybe two laps. I think the tires we might pull back a little sooner. Let's do it. Balky is in pole position. Ooh, Form's only in a four right now, which is unfortunate. And then Monty is in ninth with a six form. And she's not as good at overtaking either. It's actually really bad. If it was the other way around, I'd feel a lot stronger about a situation here. Monty loses the position right away as well. But Balky's pulling ahead nicely. Very nicely. Got a few people starting on softs, but it's pretty rare. Strombi on conserve right away, which is an interesting choice. Valky, hopefully you can keep decent distance between. It looks like yes, and gaining, which is really nice. Um, Monty's fallen way, way, way back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to double orange right away. And we'll keep Valky pushing for a little bit longer. And then, yeah, I want to bring her tires down to orange. Yeah, well, everyone else behind us isn't really pushing. We're going to go with high engine mode over here, too. Okay. Yeah, Monty having a terrible, terrible start. That was, that was real bad. Real bad by comparison. All right. Still no rain on the radar yet. Watch this end up being a completely dry race, which of course happens in real life. The one thing I got to say between real life and this, in real life it feels like there's a lot more DNFs. Higher chance of mechanical problems, higher chance that someone has a little accident. And here, it's pretty rare that people DNF, although this first race is going to be most likely for it with various mechanical problems and things. This is a lovely race course. My god. Two seconds ahead. 
Oh, nearly three seconds ahead. Everyone else is really preserving their tire. Maybe what we'll do is we'll um, we'll back out a little bit. I, I, I'm not even going to run the engine mode, that's for sure. Oh, we've got our first crash. Yellow flag, not a safety car. I might be able to push out a whole extra lap here. And give us that much more knowledge about what's coming up. Nah, I don't know if that's smart. Well, the tires were getting hot, so pulling back on that makes sense. If I'm pulling back on the tires, I should pull back in the engine mode so that we're not fuel restricted. Oh, yes, I gotta move my head. You're right. Oops. Head, thank you. To right over here, and then maybe move that something like that. Okay. Yeah, we still have to pit before Rhea. What, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull back on Rhea as well. Good point. Her tires are getting hot as well. Actually, the tires may still be warming up. The super softs, they might still be warming up. That may be one of the reasons everyone went a little bit more conservy early on. It is going to go into overcast, but it's still dry as a bone. If there's going to be any wet tires, it's not even going to be for a full stint. Watch watch it stay dry, and we could have just maybe maybe considered a one-stop on Rhea. So, uh, Monty here, she's got someone right on her ass. Oops. Then we, I'm going to give you a little engine mode. But I can't give you any more tires. Your tires are hot enough as is. We might be forced to go conserve by the end of it here. Move the head or the entire screen. And cosmic scale, it's all the same. Oh, another crash. Safety cars. Fudge. Bad timing for the safety car for Balky. Just past the pit entrance. Going to have to do a full lap if Balky wants to pit. Ooh. Balky's race has just been ruined. 3.2 seconds ahead. All of this is going to be lost. We are definitely going to pit Rhea. That's a for sure. We're going to go into softs. Um, we're going to fuel her for... Uh, the thing is, she's going to be doing a couple laps behind the safety car. So she's really going to be at the longer end of this. Um, I might plan for something like 15 laps on a 1.1. So 16.5 laps of fuel. I might just give her 16. That's really disappointing. Um, it's too early to fix a part as well. Uh, you may as well go... Uh, it's only one second difference. You know what? Yeah, it's only one second faster. Maybe we just eliminate all the, the risk. Close enough to attack. Close enough to attack. It looks like, based on our predictions, it's not going to change anything. Although everyone's going to be pitting, so it doesn't matter. I think I'm going to go for safe here. Oh, Balky's race just wrecked. Because literally everyone else is going to be able to pit for free. <sighs> Do we just keep her out so that she keeps position? I think we've got to pit her as well, though. Oh, yeah, we got to go uh, full, full conservy. I mean, theoretically on both, although it doesn't really matter for Monty. She's in front of the safety car, but I don't know if she's allowed to go fast. Maybe she is. How is that going to work, the safety car? I don't know how that's going to work in here. So, in real life, what probably would have happened, they might have done something virtual safety car, have the safety car pull out by the pits until the first, the pole position, the first place person comes up, and then they, they start lining up behind the safety car. Here's the thing. If we're not going to pit, we're going to stay on conserve. If we are going to pit, then we'll just, we'll just go fast and then pit her. I mean, we got to pit in a few laps anyway. I think we just... Still be ahead if you pit. I mean, maybe. All right, let's let's max and see what we can do. We'll switch her over here. Um, I think that's gonna be okay. God, this sucks. Uh, let's assume thirteen laps, fourteen, so fifteen laps worth of fuel should be okay. I hate this. And the problem is, chat is divided, and there's no way to know which which side is correct. 
But we're going to go fast and we're going to pit. Uh, we are going to go... I'm going to go for an aggressive pit. Not many others pitted. Oh, that is interesting. Then all of a sudden that's a lot better for us. Yeah, because they probably... There was a bunch of people on softs. I mean, some people pitted. They've got fresh super softs. But maybe... that That's... The best outcome is actually not a lot of people pit. Because Balky's got to pit soon anyway. And now it's still... It's still effectively a shorter pit. We're not going to come in first. Come out first. But if they didn't pit, and then they're going to have to. Coming out seventh place. That's not as bad as it could be. Considering no one ahead of us is pitted. Okay, that's... That worked out beautifully. That worked out really, really, really beautifully. Because yeah. if it was a 14 second pit, or whatever people are saying in chat, it in a sense it wasn't really 14 seconds. Because everyone else is moving slower, it's the same as if it, we just had like a 9 second pit time. Or something like that, because of the speed differential. Safety car, one lap left. Tires are getting cooler, but that's going to be fine, actually. Um, weather still looking clear, which is interesting. Yeah, it's hard to call this a net lead, but... Mm, mm, we might still effectively be in the net lead of the race. Actually, it's surprising how few people pitted. Monty! Th this, this is the best uh, safety car for Monty. By far. A little worried about our temps here. Heading to the garage. There's going to be a full lap. I think I've got to bring Monty's tires up to neutral so that she stops losing temp here. Okay. I'm going to be able to just go conserve for a sec. And I don't remember how the restart works if it pulls in or it's when we cross the start-finish line. Okay, now we're racing. While we're back, back punched, bunched up, we're going to go to double red for a sec to try to increase the chance of an overtake. And then we'll go to double orange in a sec here. Because the temps are still going to go up like crazy. Come on, Balky. Get in there. Okay, holding on to 7th, but barely that. Okay, we're going to go to double orange on both. Because that's kind of our fuel budget, and we want our tires to be kind of efficient. Yeah, the fuel is the same for both, that's true. Which is a little annoying for a pit stop. The tires are going to be different. The tires are going to determine when we uh, when we stop. So Monty's tires should last a little bit longer because she has more smoothness, I think. She's got a 20. Balky's got, I think, a 15 smoothness. So Balky's probably going to have to come in a little faster. So what we might want to do is actually just conserve a little bit of Monty's fuel. Thanks for the 18 bits. Just glad your name's not Quill18000. Ah. All right, Balky's up in fifth. Yeah, we don't actually have to work that hard to overtake as long as we're not being held up because all these guys are going to have to pit in front of us. Same is pretty much true with uh, with Monty here as well. Okay, a little bit of rain is now in the forecast. So I actually like the idea of stretching our tires here. Um, okay, so around lap 25, so looks like to me like lap 24 is going to be just barely wet. Lap 25, we're going to want some sort of wet tire. Uh, we are currently on, we're doing, we're on our ninth lap over here. Uh, that's a lot. Yeah, we can't make it there. Better to run hard. Pit maybe for some used softs for a little bit. You see what I mean? We can't make it. We can't do this stint until the rain starts. So as such, we should probably um, just be way more aggro. How's our engine condition? 
Although we could kill a little bit of time by doing some repairs as well. I mean, mate, softer intermediates. I mean, that'll be a couple of really bad intermediate laps. And we don't know. It might, it might just become soaking wet in instance. So we might actually want to go from slicks straight to extreme wets. Yeah, I think run hard is correct. I'm going to go double orange over here. We'll do something like this. There could be another safety car. Which would mean we want to stretch our tires as long as possible. Wow, we are not getting past this clump. Balky's got 20 overtaking and not seeing it here. God, that, no, that safety car was the worst... Get through. Through the chicane. Come on! Yeah, super... You could, we might go soft into use super softs. Into intermediates or full wets. It looks like it's going to be intermediate weather, not full wets weather. Which means we could do the intermediates while the track's still a little bit on the dry side. Which might be what we try with Monty here. That is what I'm going to try with Monty. Uh, Balky is definitely going to have to do an extra stop. Especially we ran her a little harder, a little more. Because we thought we'd be able to get past this, this clump of cars, but no. You're pitting already, which is interesting. Yeah, it's definitely just going to be intermediate weather. Maybe with the rain we can do some... Oh, man, we were, what, four seconds ahead when that safety car came out. Heartbreaking. Alright, but at least more people are pitting now. Looks like I might be able to just do a little conserve on the tire here. Eight laps of fuel. Um, can we stretch the tires long enough? Hmm. Larson up front has not stopped yet. Although, really made the tires work out. So, I mean, it makes sense that there's a huge gap there without the stopping. Seven laps maximum on the tires. Yeah, I think so. Thing is... I mean, which is where our fuel is, too. Do we just go to intermediates at that point and avoid another stop? It might be. Let me, um, stretch out Monty's, um fuel a little bit longer. I mean, we're four seconds ahead of the next person. Larson somehow still hasn't stopped yet, which is frustrating. I mean, and actually Margate hasn't stopped yet either, so we're definitely in the net lead of the race with Balky. Larson pitting and doing some repairs. Which isn't really a surprise. There's going to be a fair bit of that. We want to probably do a front wing repair when we stop here, which is was the expectation. Oh yeah, Monty. Are we effectively running first and third, Net? I'm still okay with being fairly conservative on some of this stuff. We're going to try to get like one extra lap of fuel out of Monty. Um, you know what the tires are going so much? I'm going to go to orange mode here with Balthazar. Actually, I don't think we're going to get the full fuel load out of here. She's going to have to switch tires before that anyway. I'll just go back up to medium. 
out in second despite the repairs. Oh man, I, yeah, I thought we were net first and second. It was probably just a front wing repair, which is very fast. Effectively free with a fuel up. So, but I expect there's going to be more repairs by the end of it here. First race, everyone's running with a lot of low reliability parts. I think we are just going to go to the intermediates. So, I don't remember what their adaptability on these people are. With the intermediates, we could... Uh, okay, intermediates, ugh, on a full dry track, can lose up to 10 seconds per lap. If it's just one lap like that, it's worth saving a pit stop. If it's more than one, it's not. Because even now, it'd actually be hard to do the super soft stint. Imanti yeah, has really high adaptability. And she's going to be pitting one lap later. Okay, Balki's in his lowest tire performance right now. Um, we need to do one, two, three, four full laps more or less um, on the super softs. The thing is, yeah, that's not so bad. Actually, I think that's a good. I think we are going to pit him now for these super softs, and we're just going to give him the like five or six laps worth of fuel. Six laps worth of fuel. I'm not going to do the repair here. I'm going to do this short stint. It's going to be a really short stop, and then we're going to pull him in for the intermediates. Yeah, super stingy mean it's, yeah. Yeah, her. Sorry. Um, I'm thinking Balka. I'm thinking like, perfect strangers. Uh, should call her Balka. That'll be a little easier. So we're going to do this. It's going to be a five lap stint, more or less. Um, and then we're going to pull her in for the intermediates and replace her wing at that point. Balki is a chica. I mean, literally. Boom. Yeah, we might get fastest lap, which would be interesting. Um, you can go... Actually, you can... Even on overtake, you'll still get a uh, you'll still get a roundup because you are. Well, there's a little while before you pit. Maybe we'll just put you on high here. Engine conditions good on both. Yes, excellent. Monty's also going to complain about our tires, but I'm hoping we can keep her out long enough to just go directly to intermediates. Uh, with sauce, it's the cliffs at ten percent. I think we're going to run Monty to the cliff. So you're going to come out um, probably neutral high. Front jack mistake. Left, rear left mistake. Jesus Christ. That was terrible. Okay, just ahead of traffic, which is good. We're not going to be held up by that. I don't know, maybe we could double orange. Oh, I mean, it's not going to be on the outlap. Let me actually pull back on this. Let me actually conserve slightly. When we go past the start-finish line, I'll go and... Uh, I might just double red. And we'll see if we can do a fastest lap. 11% mistake chance, two mistakes. Yeah, that was actually really bad. Our expected value was much, much higher than that. Okay, we're coming up now. We've got some clear traffic in front. Let's go double red for one lap. Wait, hold on. Where are we? Oh, fourth. Over here. Sorry, I did that too early. Okay. So, fastest sector three. And actually, P beat a couple. But now we're hoping for a lot of purples. And she's not in her best tire range for everything. And yeah, she's complaining about the front wing, which is reasonable. Oh, it's not even a PB for Sector. It was actually really bad. Alright, just bring it down. You're not going to get there. Alright, Monty. Yeah, she's the second in the row. She, she uh, Purple is the third Sector, but that's it. Um, yeah, actually, you can go... You can actually go overtake mode. Is this your last lap? Okay, you're going to hate it, because we're going to drive you one lap on the cliff. We're going to keep Monty out. I think his super softs are still heating up on yellow there. So we'll pull back a little bit. So she's about to hit the cliff, which is going to make pretty bad performance. But at this point, like, we're just going to one-stop her. 
All right, that's that. So now we are going to switch her for intermediates, and we're going to fuel her to the end of the race. Uh, 12 laps remaining. We're going to assume orange the entire time, so we need 13.2 laps worth of fuel. We'll give her 14, or we'll give her 14, since she might be able to do a little bit of red in here. Um, so if we do this, that'll round up there. We're going to replace her front wing, which is going to be a freebie change. Nine seconds, ten. We're going to balance it over here fast. Is two seconds faster, but we're doing a whole other operation. So that's an extra chance of getting an error in there. So we're going to go with balanced on Monty. And we did change the front wing. Yes, we did. And all the other parts should be okay. The brakes were the one thing I was really worried about. It looks like we're going to be fine there. So that much is good. Do, do, do. Monty held up the race. Oh, that's true. That might be part of what's helping us out here. Larson way out ahead still. Hopefully they do a bad change for the, the, the rain, but I don't think so because their tires are going to be perfect. It's going to start raining. They'll come in for intermediates, and that's going to be that. So I think first is out of reach, unfortunately, here. Um, and it really does come down to that safety car having boned us. There you go. Balky getting up ahead of Monty, which is fine. Good clean racing between teammates. I like it. Well, you would like it because you're now the one who's ahead. Uh, I guess you can go on neutral at this point. Yeah, Monty going pretty slow with the dead tires. Oh, no, my tires are dead. And the net, the first lap out is going to be real bad on intermediate. Although, it will be slightly damp. We got a mistake there as well. Holy shit. That is a long-ass pit stop. That was, that was a nine and a half second mistake on the front wing. I've never, ever, what the fuck? Our pit crew was fine. Perfect stamina, really high numbers. They should have a 0% base failure race. That is awful. <sighs> Might be slightly less awful what than it appeared because of, um, you know, part of it was free because of the fuel up and also... It is going to mean that she's not going to have as much time on a mismatch intermediate. Um, and as a result, like, you know, so it might not effectively have cost us the full nine seconds. But seriously. Um, I think we're going to pit him now. Intermediates. 11 laps. Give you the 13. We'll replace the front wing. We'll go balanced. And actually, we can probably do push on these tires because they've got more life. We're not going wet. It's not that wet. Um, his tire is pretty dead. We could have maybe waited one more lap. No, I think this is going to be okay. This is going to work out pretty well here. And it's just going to be double orange. All right, so our hope is on Balky here. Still a little early for the intermediates, but not that early. And overall, everyone should be fully fueled up for the end of the race. Everyone ahead of us should just be getting out of the way in a second. So even if we don't overtake... Oh, yeah, it's because I don't have the uh, the Ferrari headphones on. That's why we're making all these mistakes, you guys. I forgot. All right. Not everyone pitted, which is interesting. I would have liked to delay the pits more. I probably could have with Balky. All right, there you go. Yeah, we're going to ignore your brake issues there, buddy. Uh, all right, sponsor objectives have been met. Larson and Sylvander both have to pit, but the thing is, the gap is huge. We should be able to get ahead of Sylvander, especially with some repairs, and we did. Larson hasn't pitted yet. That's actually might be good for us because we might close this gap. 29 seconds, 27, 25. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I didn't realize the temps were going to go up that much. Hang on. Let me go conserve on both for a second. We're no longer pinned to the top. Hopefully on neutral it doesn't gain. 
Okay, Larson has. We're 10 seconds behind. And not gaining. Well, we're... Wait, what? Oh, these brakes. No, and look at this. I think the tires are still getting too hot. Oh, that's a lot of laps. There's no way these brakes last to the end. There's no way they last to the end. Risk it. All right, chat wants us to risk it. I mean, we've still got someone in the top three, which is something. The thing is, she actually could just go and, like, go go gaga on her tires. Risk it. Yeah, last time we didn't risk something with, uh, or we risked something with Monty. It totally worked out, right, you guys? Oh, we're still in 18. I'm doing over here. All right. Three laps remaining. Oh, yeah, we really do have excess fuel on both of these. Monty's crossing the start-finish line right now. Um, so she's got three laps remaining, so she needs 3.9 laps of fuel. Yeah, so they, they both actually have too much. All right, three laps on 11%. Apparently, we're going to try it. Watch both cars DNF here with their brakes GGing out of this. Oh, fuck, your tires, too. Chat wants us to push. I'm going to keep going. Yeah, yeah. Get the twenty percent. There's no, um, there's no cliff on the intermediates. We're in the lowest performance band, but that's it. Final lap. Low fuel? No. I mean, it's because we're under a lap of fuel, but we're gonna finish. Second and third. All right. Well, I'm pissed that we didn't get first. I think we got completely, we got uh, screwed out of first, um, probably because of the safety car. An unbelievably awkward weather timing. Unbelievably awkward weather timing. But yeah, we'll take it. I mean, that's a lot of points. That's more points than, you know, one person ending up first and then someone else ending up outside of the points. I don't think we ended up with fastest lap, uh, but we did get the pole position points, which is nice. Hmm. Valkyrie leads the championship. Uh, what should be tied? I think. Oh, we did get fastest lap in the end. I thought we lost it. Oh, shit, yes. Then we do. That's wonderful. So, yeah, she got lost a point, unfortunately. Uh, lost a place overall. Rhea did really well making... Si and this is the thing with it happens with Rhea all the time. Is she doesn't have necessarily, in, you know, impressive raw speed for qualification. Um... But she crushes it on race day. Almost always going up in places. I mean, she had, you know, a lot to go up. Uh, Chica had no way to go up, only down, which is what happened. I think Esprit GP, I think these are the this is the team that was demoted from the upper championship. So they're in pretty good shape. But yeah, 12 points overall for us, where Esprit also crashed. Aha! Okay, that's really good, because they might have ended up taking something like first and second, or at least, you know, two place-paying place places. Point playing paces. I can't talk, but you guys know what I'm saying. Um, which would have been really bad for us overall in the standings. But as is, we are currently leading the constructors. Not by much, but by a little bit. So hopefully that's going to be okay. Double podium is nice. Do, do, do. Hey, 12, yes, 14. 14 points in the bag. Um, okay. First would have been better, but overall, I feel like... Okay, that was clearly pretty decent. Um, we are going to ask for money now. Thank you very much for the reminder, because we've got our first race out there. Expected result. I mean, that's it. As a team, we came in first. So that's, you know, real happy over there, which is nice to see. Um, we've got our sponsor money, which is helping out a lot, too. Uh, the chairman, pay chairman payouts are pretty good, too, because we have high expectations this season. Uh, all right. I mean, that's that's a start, 